Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to detect and remove outliers or anomalies from the given dataset using Z-score based method. As discussed in the previous video, outliers are the values in the dataset which stands out from the rest of the data. Outliers occurs in the given dataset because of the following reasons. First one is error in reading, faulty system or the manual error. There are mainly two methods for detecting outliers. The first one is IQR based method. Second one is Z score based method. In the previous video, I have already discussed how to use IQR based method for detecting and removing outliers. In this video, I will discuss how to use Z score based method for detecting and removing the outliers. To understand Z score based method for detecting outliers, I will consider 30 days sales revenue of a retail store. The data looks something like this. In the first day, there was 100 units of revenue. Similarly, 150 units of revenue in the second day. The same thing for each and every day is noted over here. Given this particular data, we need to identify the sales revenue, which is significantly different from other days over here. So that is nothing but we need to identify an anomaly or the outlier and then we need to remove it from the given data set over here. Now we will use a Z score based method to identify the anomalies. In the first step we need to calculate the mean and standard deviation. To calculate mean we can use this particular formula that is mean is equal to summation of i is equal to 1 to 30 because we have 30 days data here xi divided by n, n will be 30 in this particular case. So we need to add all those particular values divided by 30 which is equal to 123.5 in this case. Next we need to calculate the standard deviation. The standard deviation delta is equal to square root of summation of i is equal to 30 xi minus mu bracket square divided by n minus 1. So in the first case xi will be 100 and a mu that is calculated already that is 123.5 here bracket square that's a first case second case the xi is 150 150 minus 123.5 bracket square same thing will be carried out for all the values the last one will be 120 minus 123.5 bracket square divided by 30 minus 1 because n minus 1 we have here and once you solve it you will get 20.0 as the standard deviation in this case once you calculate uh, mean and the standard deviation, we need to calculate something called as Z scores. To calculate the Z scores, we use this particular formula. Z is equal to X minus mu divided by standard deviation. I will show you one example. In the first case or the first value you can see here, the value is 100 in this case. So we can use this formula something like this. 100 minus mu we have already calculated that is 123.5 divided by 20 that is nothing but standard deviation we will get the value as minus 1.17 over here similarly we have to use this formula to calculate the z scores for all the data points in this particular case once you calculate the z scores they will look something like this this is the first one second one and so on for all 30 days over here once you calculate the z scores the next step is to set the threshold usually in z score based method we set the threshold as 3 in this case anything which is less than minus 3 or greater than plus 3 will be considered as the anomaly or the outlier remaining everything will be considered as the proper value here this particular threshold will cover 99.7 percent of the values as the normal data remaining 0.3 percent of data will be considered as the outlier in this case now in this uh, example we have already calculated the z scores none of these particular z scores are less than minus 3 and none of them is greater than 3 over here so it shows that the given data set does not have any anomaly or the outliers in this case so we don't found any anomalies or the outliers in the given data set over here if anything is less than minus 3 or greater than 3 we would have considered it as the anomaly but in this case none of them are present so we say that the given data set is a proper one it does not have any outliers or the anomalies in this case so in this video i have discussed how to use z score based 
method for detecting and removing the outliers. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.